Considered the greatest philosopher of all time, Plato said that Atlantis existed approximately 9,000 years before even his own time. His writings are recognised as the only written records of its existence. According to his description, the civilization of Atlantis consisted of a series of islands and concentric circles. Plato described Atlantis as possessing 10,000 chariots, advanced technologies, a series of complex canals, a vast number of bull, elephants and other exotic animals. The soil was rich and abundant. Agriculture grew in the plains area of the island, which made use of sophisticated irrigation systems. In the centre island, public baths were found, including fountains of hot and cold water as well as recreation areas, as well as government and military buildings. According to Plato, Atlanteans mined white, black and red stone for use in the construction of their buildings. The circles of land had walls covered in solid brass and inner walls covered with solid gold. In the central island was a temple sanctuary dedicated to, ironically, Poseidon, the god of the sea. In this temple sanctuary, the first ten princes of Atlantis were born, and their descendants would bring them offerings. Plato received knowledge of Atlantis from Solon, who lived well over 300 years before even he did. Solon was one of the seven sages, a group of legendary philosophers. While studying in Egypt, Solon learned that an advanced civilization called Atlantis had existed somewhere near the seven pillars of Hercules earlier in history and had been destroyed. One of the Egyptian priests described this to him. There have been and will be again many destructions of mankind arising out of many causes. The greatest have been brought about by fire and by water. The priest then added, you remember a single deluge only, but there were many previous ones. Some researchers believe that Rh negative gene represents a separate branch of humanity that intermarried with the branch that came out of Africa, and that those with Rh negative blood are descendants of the Hyperborean race, which is even older than the Atlanteans, and is believed by some researchers to be the original human race. Subscribers to this hypothesis maintain that these people were blonde haired blue-eyed and included most spiritual teachers, including Isis, Buddha, Allah, Zoroaster and Jesus Christ, but to name a few. Gibraltar is a heavily fortified British air and naval base that guards the Strait of Gibraltar, which is the only entrance to the Mediterranean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean. In this context, it is often referred to as the Rock. The Rock of Gibraltar is considered one of the two pillars of Hercules. The other has been identified as one of the two peaks in Northern Africa, Mount Haco near the city of Kuta, the Spanish enclave on the Moroccan coast, or Jubel Moussa in Morocco. The pillars, which according to Homer were created when Hercules broke the mountain that had connected Africa and Europe, defined the western limits of navigation for the ancient Mediterranean world. Plato's books are not clear on the location of Atlantis, though there are many theories. Studies show that the bottom parts of the Atlantic show evidence of once being above water. Some believe that the island of Santorini, which was destroyed by a volcano, was Atlantis. Plato's writings do include some clues to the location, however. Situated in front of the Straits, which by you are called the Pillars of Hercules, the modern-day Straits of Gibraltar, the island was larger than Libya and Asia put together, and was the way to other islands, and from these you might pass to the whole of the opposite continent, which surrounded the true ocean. The Basque people have a legend that they came from a certain archipelago of islands, seven islands to be precise, where their seafaring ancestors inhabited a gigantic landmass called Atlantica, 
and that it sank beneath the waves during a terrible cataclysm. And the survivors were washed up in the Bay of Biscay, where they headed east through modern day Spain to settle inland, find safety and begin civilization again. The Basque people, Berbers and tribes of the Atlas Mountains claim to come from Atlantica and they are currently situated next to the Atlantic Ocean. Has the answer been staring us right in the face the entire time? <laughs>